Hello friends. Welcome to Java Swing tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at how to use JFile Chooser dialog. So if you see, this is the example we are going to create. The example contains one label file name, then one text field. After that, one ellipsis button. When user clicks this button, the dialog will be displayed. So this is what called the uh, file chooser dialog. It's uh, invoked through the file chooser dialog. From here, user can select any file. Say for example, they can select readme.txt and they can click open. So once they click open, the dialog will dismiss and from this instance we can get the file name readme.txt and display that here when we are displaying we will display the full path then we will display the file selected by the user so if you are selected readme.txt will be displayed along with its path so here you will learn jfile chooser then you will learn show open dialog then you will learn what is a approved option and what is a cancel option when user clicks the open approved option will be set in the dialog and when user click cancel cancel option will be set so once user selects a file and click open the show dialog will return the file object then from there we will use get selected path So JFile Chooser is the class from Java Access Swing package. There are two constructor. One will be the empty constructor, or you can construct by specifying the path here or initial directory here. Say for example, if I specify D Java, when the dialog is displayed, it will show this initial path. So once the object is constructed, you can make a call to show open dialog and you can supply a parent here. So the parent can be uh, any top level container window like a frame. Like a JFrame, a JDialog. So the function will return an integer so the return value in each integer that can be compared with the constant approve option or cancel option so this will tell when the dialog is displayed So the show open dialog will open this uh, file picker dialog and once user closes it, user can close it by clicking the open or cancel or even by double clicking the file name. So uh, when user double clicks a file name or when they click open button, the return value will be the approve option. So we, we can compare to know which option user selected, whether they opened or whether they cancelled. So if they cancel, we can compare that with a cancel option. So this comparison is useful to say whether user actually opened or clicked a cancel, which button they clicked, so that we can know by means of this return value and comparing that against a pro option and a cancel option. So you can make a call to get selected file on the JFile chooser to know which file is selected by the user. So if user selected X, we will get we will get that file as a file object. 
from this file object we can make a call to get selected path so the get selected path will return a string that contains a full file name with the path so the complete absolute path will be returned from the drive letter let's say c drive some intermediate directory then file name x.txt if you set selected that and click it open so that's how the flow goes so we will check approve option then we will make a call to get selected file that will return a file object from there we will get the path so the flow goes like this um, first we will construct the object then we will make a call to show open dialog then uh, the dialog will be presented to the user user will pick open or cancel to know that we will check this approve or cancel option so if it is a approve option then we can make a call to get selected file that will return a file object and from that file object we will get a selected path so once this string is available then we can update our text box stating what file is selected by the user now let's go to the eclipse demo now let me open eclipse java oxygen So this will be a very initial file. We changed the set bounds, then we set the flow layout for it for the JFrame. So this is how the dialog looks. I mean the frame window looks. If you know how to display a frame window, there is a prerequisite video. You can watch that. The code snippet for this video is available in the video description. Next, we create a JTEXT field from Java X Swing, and this text field can hold 45 characters. Let us save this once. Next, we create a J button. J level. So this J button is for opening the file uh, dialog, and this is just a J label. We already created a text field, so we set a font to it. First, we import the font from Java.awt. After that, we will make a call to set font. On the j text field object then we add all these three control to our control host now we can run once to see how it appears so on click of this button we need to open our uh, file open dialog So first we will handle this button click event. So I'm pressing control space.
the handler is ready the skeleton of the handler is ready first we create a j file chooser instance we are importing it from javax.swing package so in the constructor we are passing uh, the initial directory which is a d drive java next we are making call to this uh, j file chooser using the show open dialog and parent we are supplying uh, our frame window so the show open dialog will present a file open dialog user will pick a file name then they will click either uh, say they will pick either open or cancel so those two action will uh, close the dialog and the user choice is returned and we store that in a integer variable So the return value from show open dialog is an integer. We are comparing that user choice with a constant approve option. This means user is uh, clicking the save button. We also want to know whether user clicked the cancel option or not. If a user clicked the cancel button, user choice will hold the integer value that matches with this constant cancel option we created the jtext field at class level so we can use that here and we can call set text and state no file selected if user click the cancel button so if a user actually click the open button then we will end up here user choice is approve option we make a call to uh, get selected file on j file chooser that will return a file object and we store that in a selected file reference so the selected file dot get path will return the uh, full path to the file name so it returns the path as well as it opens the file name to it so now we can now we can use this string to populate our uh, text box our example is ready now we will test it so this is for the file open dialog and you can see the title is uh, open and you can also see the initial path is java d drive java because we specified that in the constructor now let me click cancel and it will show no file selected this is because of that return value so the return value will be cancel option so we landed here and we printed no text field selected now we will invoke the j file chooser once again and this time we will click the readme.txt and you can see now this time this condition is matched because user clicked the uh, open option so then we displayed the file name that's all here uh, in this uh, video thank you for uh, watching bye